<laughs> hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. This episode 109. And actually I was gonna put the separation anxiety uh, breakdown discussion video here, but I think I'll just make it episode 110. I'll post it this weekend for you guys because something kind of unexpected happened. And you could probably hear the rain. It's hitting on the top of my car, so I'm sorry if there's additional noise here. Uh, this is not the best environment, but I thought I would do an episode of Venom in my car. Uh, so I used to do this show called Transformers in my car where I would open a Transformer toy in my car and try to figure out how to transform it without the instructions. I'm not gonna do something like that here, but I did get some Venom stuff on my way to work. And since I'm an hour early before work, I figured we'll just film this episode in my car and uh, have some fun, because I got some good stuff. And I went to a new comic store that I've never been to uh, out here in Glendale called Legacy Comics. So I wanna give them a shout out. The first guy when I walked in, super nice super helpful great customer service skills was like hey how can i help you what brings you in today i was like oh it's my first time he's like oh well graphic novels are over there you know statues and toys are over there he was like super super helpful and uh, and then he was like hey you know we're opening the other side of the store i gotta go over there someone will be out to help you in a second i was like okay so i walked around the second guy that came out kind of a kind of the opposite <laughs> uh not to slam that guy but his customer service skills were piss poor and i went up to the the counter and I put my stuff on it. I was like, you know, like I just set him off, off to the side. I was like, all right, I'm out of his way. I'm gonna set my books over here. You know, I got this little stack here and I had a toy that I'm gonna show you in a second. And I set him down and then I went and looked at something. And when I came back, he had like stacked stuff on it. He even bent a couple of the books and I had to put uh, some of them back and get a new copy. But one of them was uh, the only copy and it was bent now. He actually set something and it creased the book. And normally I'm not that much of a, a, a you know, a you know, stickler for, books in great you know in great shape and stuff and looking good but this was a variant cover to a venom comic book that i've been looking for for a while so and it was the only one i was like you got to be kidding me you know it was like a five six dollar comic and i was like yeah i'm just gonna put it back like i'm not gonna buy it now because this guy damaged it you know so unfortunately there's one guy there that wasn't very uh you know very professional but there was another guy there that was awesome so i still want to shout the store out because it was a cool store and i'd never been there but i definitely want to go back and what i picked up there was the two true believers that uh house of secrets didn't have this week uh, which is Venom, and this is the first appearance of Flash Thompson Venom, uh, and this is Dark Origin issue three, I think, uh, or two or three, uh, but they, you know, they brand it with the number one. But these are only a dollar. You can pick these up right now at your local comic store, and like I said, I'm going to do a series of videos where we talk about each one of these, and that'll be coming up on the show in uh, probably in a couple weeks. Uh, then I also picked up Spirits of Vengeance number three. I got one of the variants for cover price, which is cool, the Phoenix variant, so it's the Ghost Rider as the Phoenix, which I think is just super cool, uh, but I'm missing this issue from a mini series I'm trying to complete my Ghost Rider collection so I didn't realize I was missing issue three so I picked that up but now these were really cool because I rarely see these because Golden Apple uh, you know they sell all their variants right when they open and I never can make it down right when they open and get in front of the line uh, but these are called sketch cover variants and they're blank and what you do is you bring them to comic shows and you pay an artist to draw a sketch on here for you. So I picked up Old Man Hawkeye since Venom does appear in it and I'm gonna see if I can find someone to draw me a multiple man uh, Venom you know, character drawn like a sketch or something on here uh, when we go to uh, WonderCon uh, in, this weekend in a couple days. So I'm gonna try to do that. And I also picked up two copies of Venomverse with the blank cover. And I'm gonna try to get some alternate universe Venoms drawn here. I wanna get a regular Venom on one and then maybe an alternate Venom on another. So you guys let me know in the comments who you'd like to see me get sketched on those uh, and I will, and I, or on the other one, on the variant one, because uh, I'm gonna definitely get a regular Venom on one of them. Uh, and then the last thing I got, I actually picked up the Prowler figure because I'm a huge Prowler from Marvel Legends, uh, but then I saw this and I said, all right, I can't be spending too much money because my goal today was to go to Two Toys R Us's because I heard their liquidation sales were starting today. And we, when I went to both of them, that was untrue. Neither of them had liquidation sales that started today. Uh, they had signs up saying, hey, uh, sorry, uh, you know, we told you guys it was going to be Thursday. And reports online said the same thing. We're sorry to tell you that that's not true. So, you know, there's no sale today. I'm sorry. So I pretty much was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to save my money and I'll just head to work early. And then I remembered there was this comic store nearby that people were telling me about. So I went to Legacy and I'm glad I did because I found something I've been looking for for a while. This is Venom, uh, the, the Marvel Select special collector edition action figure 24.99 because i saw this guy going online for like 50 60 bucks and i'm like yeah i'm just never gonna have the money for that uh but i've always wanted this figure i love the marvel select stuff diamond toys are they're just really great quality and uh, i think this thing is great you can see it comes with um alternate heads here 
You got like the madness, you know, when he was Venom the Madness, you got a head here that has Eddie Brock's face showing on it. Um, and then uh, then he's got extra hands. He's got extra gear down here um, that's like a little off panel. Uh, he's got extra arms that come out of his back, again, making like the Venom the Madness look to him. So we're gonna, the rest, the rest of this video is us doing like a kind of a toy review kind of look at this guy. Not really a review, but a look at him. So we're gonna head back to my apartment, open up the studio, put this guy in it, and uh, I'll show you guys everything he can do. All right, and here we are back in my studio with the Marvel Select Diamond Select Venom figure. This guy's pretty awesome, and I have him in his traditional form. He has three forms that you can kind of transform him into. Uh, this is the Todd McFarlane, you know, Spider-Man issue 300, Amazing Spider-Man 300 form, uh, kind of the, the origin form in a, in a lot of ways. Uh, the teeth are, like, really kind of nicely fit into the, uh, you know, the outline of the mouth. Uh, the eye is really big, and you have his fists you know, uh, with the little white patches on the back, which I think were, I think those were there in the original, and I know Eric Larson drew them uh, as well, and I really like that design. I, I think uh, they kind of did a really good job melding, like, three different generations of Venom into this figure. And real quickly, we're going to show off, like, his articulation. Uh, obviously, in the ankle, he has uh, an ankle joint there, so you can bend his foot, uh, and that's on both sides. He also has a knee bend and a swivel in the thigh. Which is uh, which is pretty neat, actually. Uh, as you know, adds to a lot more posability. And then the the actual upper thigh there spreads out, so he could do like you know Jean Claude Van Damme sidekicks. <laughs> uh, but that that's pretty neat too. It adds uh, mobility there. It does move forward and back though, because there's an extra joint. Uh, so that I could do that. He could, you know, spread his, sp spread his leg all around, do all kind of roundhouse kicks, and uh, and make uh, Jean very uh, very proud. Uh, but then you also have the waist turn uh, you have a bend in the chest not a very deep bend but a bend nonetheless uh, then you have the elbow of course the hand swivels uh, you have the ball joint in the shoulder socket so that his hand and arm can move in every direction he also has a swivel in the bicep so that he could get extra movability there and of course his head is on a ball joint and can move around like so uh, so yeah, I th although the looking up and looking down, not very good uh, in many ways. He does have some holes here in his arm, as you can see that one there, and he has one on the other side, and you'll see why that is here in a second. All right, so that's form one there. Let's transform him into his next phase. In this form, this is kind of more Eric Larson-y. The hands are much bigger. Uh, they're claw-like, which is cool. They still have the white patches on the back, which looks really, really great, um, as you can see right there. And uh, yeah, you can see the Eddie Brock transformation head. And I actually really like the sculpt of this Eddie Brock head. Uh, certainly a lot more than the one we have coming up in the Marvel Legends line. Now, granted, that could still be a prototype. They're still working on it. I hope they, you know, make it look more like Tom Hardy. I think that would be cool, even though they're making the comic book version. I still would like to see a Tom Hardy uh, Eddie Brock head at some part uh point and here you know you get the look how like look at the detail it just like wraps around the outside of his head and it's going on the outside the tongue is spreading out and the face there he just looks really really cool i love the detail i like the size of the figure too for those wondering he's about seven inches actually to do a little size comparison i haven't finished building this yet because i don't have a blade or bullseye but this is a build a figure from the latest, uh, from, the, from the Netflix Marvel line, from Marvel Legends. And so this is the Build-A-Figure, which is Man-Thing, and he's th uh, the same height as Venom. I know uh, Force Perspective shows that he looks a little taller right now because he's in the foreground, but trust me, he is the same size as Venom. They're both like seven inch figures. So I like that too. I like that this figure has a ton of size to it. Uh, that just makes it look way cooler and more imposing when I put him next to my Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures. Um, so yes, this is his second phase and uh, all the same articulation, obviously. So let's add on the final phase, which is Venom the Madness. And last but not least, we have Venom the Madness. Now, this version looks awesome. He does get, like I said, top-heavy, so he will fall over at times. So he's kind of leaning right now. I have got him to stand up, and he actually stood up all night, so I know it's possible. Uh, but you just have to position him in the right way. And as you can see here, he has these extra arms that actually go into those holes that were in his arm earlier, his main arm. And he has these extra little arms that pop out there like that with a little joint. Um, and our little protruding piece that can clip right in. And then uh, obviously he's got a different head. He's got green, you know, like drool coming out of him like he has had in the comics. This is more designed off the Kelly Jones uh, take on the character from Venom the Madness. It has all the extra heads. And this is actually one big 
piece that comes off really easily with the extra arms. The extra arms are poseable, uh, which is really nice, so you can get some movability there. And yeah, you have all these extra heads. And of course, you can mix and match, you can combine, you can put those heads and change that one out, do the Eddie Brock face, you could do the classic face, and it'll match all those. It actually looks really cool and uh, just adds so much to this thing. So that way it never gets really boring putting him on your shelf because you can always change him and make him look you know, different uh, every time. There's so many different combinations you can mix and match on. So uh, it works. It just works really well. This figure is so awesome. He, he's available from Diamond Selections. Uh, you could order him online. He's a Marvel Select toy. And uh, he retails for $24.99. I saw this at, you know, like I said earlier when I went to Legacy Comics. It was so cool to see it because I've seen other stores post that they had this figure available. And, uh, and I haven't seen them anywhere at any of the stores. And I'm going to put the extra heads and limbs out here so you can see them all in one package. Uh, but I haven't seen them anywhere. So when I saw, I actually saw the Prowler Marvel Legends figure and I was like, oh, I'm going to get this. I'm going to buy Prowler. And then I walked around the store some more and I came across this guy. And I was like, okay, well, now I got to get this instead of Prowler. So I'm sorry, Hobie Brown. I'll have to pick you up another time. Uh, Hobie's one of my favorite Spider Man characters. So I definitely need to get that figure too at some point. But. I couldn't pass this up. Even though it was, you know, five extra dollars, I was like, I'm going to spend it because it's totally worth it. And, uh, yeah, I want to know what you guys think. Do you have this figure? If you don't, go get it. I'm telling you, it's freaking awesome. And uh, you'll definitely see it. Uh, I'm going to be working on a new background for when I make my videos with my toys behind me, and I'm going to be working on that soon. So you'll be seeing all these toys that I, you know, take a look at like this uh, very, very soon again and in, in all my videos because they're going to be behind me as my, you know, backdrop. So I'll be working on that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and definitely let me know what you think of this in the comments. See you in the future. Peace.